guys, it's Laura and you're watching Laura X Annie and today I'm here with my top five Harry Potter characters and no you've not just flashed back to the 70s, my dad had this old denim shirt and he was like do you want it and I was like yes and I'm going to put patches on it and I'm going to be cool as fuck. Um, so in at number five is the amazing Hermione Granger played by Emma Watson. I love Hermione because although she is a muggle born which means that she has two normal parents um, and there must be wizardry in background somewhere. Um, she is amazing because she knows more about pure blood traditions than bloody Ron Weasley, whose family's in one of the Sacred 28. The Sacred 28, rough story, is like 28 families that are pure blood families. So that is still the Blacks, the Malfoys, the Weasleys, as far as I can think. The Potters used to be it until James married Lily, who's a half blood. That's as much as I know in the Dumbledores, I think, as well, are pure blood spud. But, anyway, so I love Hermione. She knows so much. She gets the trio out of trouble and she's the only one out of the Golden Trio that I love and she's also a Gryffindor. And at number four is Snape. Snape. Sever the Snape. And that is played by the late, great Alan Rickman. I love Severus. I loved him from the first movie. I have a thing for villains. We all know I love Moriarty. He's up there somewhere. He's actually... Like literally up there, I've got a pop vinyl of him up there. Um, but I love Snape, always love Snape. Snape was one of my favourite characters and he's just so snarky but everyone's like, oh you're such a dickhead. Well, how would you feel if you fell in love with a girl and you grew up in school with her, went to school with her and her boyfriend was an absolute prick to you as much as I love James. He was a prick to Severus. And you know, you grew up and then suddenly in Stoats, and then suddenly, not only that, but you hold the woman you love as she's dead whilst her son is sitting in the crib. And then suddenly, Stoat, 11 years later, well, 10 years later, who Stoats into the Great Hall, but this little, toty little thing that is a spitting image of James Potter, yet with Lily Evans' eyes. I mean, I can completely understand being a prick to Harry. Also, Harry is sort of like a prick. He's just so weird like that. The chosen one. But you know, I mean, and plus Severus is also a Slytherin, which is my house. Um, but yeah, I love Severus and the end when he was just like always, it's just, Alan Rickman played it so well and I'm so heartbroken that we lost Alan Rickman. And at number three, so number three and number two were the most difficult ones for me to pick. I could not decide who was going in at number three and who was going in at number two because I love them both equally. But I think I slightly love the other one a little bit more, just slightly. I think I relate to the other one slightly more. So in at number three is the amazing Sidious Black played by Gary Oldman. And actually, it's the only Harry Potter pop vinyl I have. Love my little Sidious. But um, no, I love Sidious. Uh, Gary Oldman plays him amazingly. And the love Sidious has for Harry is just incredible. If you read the fan fictions and you read the backstories, it's just Sidious is this cool as fuck guy and I just feel sorry that he gets sent to Azkaban but the fact that him and James and Peter all decided to be Animagus for Remus it was just like I couldn't my heart can't take it and when every time I watch Sirius die I weep every time every time I weep that he dies and just watching him die makes me weep and Harry screaming and Remus trying to hold him back Speaking of Remus, in at number two is Remus Lupin, played by David. I can't say his last name, so it's now on the board. It's down here. That's who plays Remus Lupin. I fucking love Remus. Remus Lupin deserve better, okay, guys? Okay, this is me with Remus Lupin's wand. Thank you, Johnny, if you're watching this, for giving me the wand. He didn't give it to me, but he let me borrow it at the barbecue, and it felt really bad for him because then he broke his thumb. But thank you, that's me holding the wand because I was so excited because there was Remus Lupin's wand. Remus deserves so much better than dying in the end of season, in the, the end of the book. I know. So Remus is one of my favourite characters. He is so depressed, and I love that his nickname is Minnie. I love that he's basically Remus Lupin, Mooney, Wolf Wolf. I love it, I love it, I love it, I just love him. He is incredibly played. Hats off to David, hats off. All for it. Now on to some honourable mentions. So, honourable mention has to go to Bellatrix Lestrange, played by the amazing Helena Bohm Carter. Love Bellatrix, the hair, everything, and just, 
Oh, I can't handle Bellatrix. She's, like I said, I've got a thing for a villain and I just love Bellatrix. Another honourable mention too. <laughs> Lord Voldemort, aka Tom Riddle, aka played by Ralph Fiennes. I love Voldemort. I do. I love Voldemort, okay? I just love Voldemort. Another shout out, uh, honourable mention, I just have to put him in here. To, Bar <laughs> to Barty Crouch Jr. played by David Tennant. <laughs> Barry Crouch Jr. pretending to be Mad Eye Moody was more realistic than Mad Eye Moody himself, if that makes any sense at all. Now on to number one. If you can hear banging, it's my door because of the wind. So in at number one is the incredible love of my life, Draco Malfoy, played by Tom Felton. I have such a soft spot for Draco Malfoy. Draco is so underrated, I love him to pieces, and he's just my everything. I love Draco, and he's a Slytherin, and do you know, the thing is, right, he, he all he wanted to be was Hattie's friend. And um, no, I actually do love Draco, and I love that he's called his kids Scorpius. What a name, what an absolute, treasure of a name rather than calling your kid James Sirius or Albus Severus but I love Draco, Draco is everything and yeah. So that is my top five characters, my battery is going so I will see you guys on Monday with my, wait for it, Wolfstar playlist and I'll see you guys then. Bye!